happy 2020 happy new year i hope you guys are inspired by the new year and will get a lot accomplished i just wanted to start vlogging this year and bring you along throughout my day as a lot of you may not know i am from ohio and i moved to arizona and i just love my life here I have my own business and I also do dog sitting on the side, which has slowly started becoming full time as well. So I've just been running around, been really busy. There's a doggy right now and I'll just go get the other one. Can you guys tell that I'm new at vlogging? Okay, well anyway, this little guy is crazy. Okay. Testing out the camera functions, no big deal. <laughs> okay, so today I woke up, I spent the night here. I'm watching a client's dog for about four days. I'm trying to work on my skin a little more. So hopefully you can follow me on that journey if you have any advice, what you use or anything. Right now I'm using Neutrogena, like skin cleansers and toners so I'm on my third day so proud of myself say hi to my boyfriend he's healing from getting his wisdom teeth taken out can you let us know if he's allowed to drink coffee anyway you days. won't be able to let us know because we are actually gonna google it right now Alexa are people allowed to drink coffee when healing from wisdom teeth surgery Hmm, I don't know that one. What do you know? Come on. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look it up. Thanks for trying to help us. But anyway, I'm drinking my coffee. Let's get some creamer. I like the almond creamer. My sister actually recommended it. Super good. I'm so sorry. My hair is horrible. I didn't have time to do anything to it. So, ew. But, um, I'm gonna straighten it later. Alexa, pause. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys how I package up my packages. I include a handwritten note with some really cute cards with positivity because we're trying to spread that positivity out here. Um, the packaging slip and the postage stamp. This one is a custom shirt and it's hand stitched. So. It's whatever the customer asked for and look how cute this handwritten font is and it will go to its new home once it hits the post office. Vlogging thing is hard. I feel ugly. <sighs> okay. This is my third time filming this part. So bear with me. Alright guys, so I just got back from my embroidery class and it went so well. I learned 
so many things I answered all of my questions and more yeah so in my current shop called Man Eater by Lena I provide custom embroidery and designs that I already have on the shop it's just words right now it's just phrases it's just lettering and I went to the class to learn how to do images now so um, yeah any images like cactus um, wine glasses flowers yeah so I'm learning that so stay tuned yeah so I'm excited for that we're getting on to new levels 2020 here we come with the new stuff <laughs> I I'm serious like once I start vlogging my brain cells just shut off like what's going on okay so I wanted to do a little haul about what I got from the embroidery place so let's get to it okay I got stabilizer this is for the embroidery machine you got to put it behind the clothing so that the embroidery machine just doesn't eat it up and tear it up you're probably not that interested in this but yeah that's what I got other embroiderers would know though I got thread colors and this is the good thread we say it is Oriani I got three colors I already have a few already but I just wanted to get colors for my stockpile um, they're pretty much colors that are uh, often used a lot, so I wanted to get ones that people request a lot. Next, I got this cool thing. What do you think it is? Lipstick? Nope. You were highly mistaken. This is not lipstick. In fact, you don't want to put this on your lips. This is a... Ready? Ready? It is so cute! It is a needle case. So, I mean, I just never thought I needed this. Like, I needed it, but I didn't know I needed it until I saw it. So, I cross-stitched to, I hand embroider, and we need the needles. The embroidery needles. I take it with me while I dog sit. I take it with me if, wherever I need it. And I never knew where to carry it. I would just put it in like a plastic bag. But you know needles, they can puncture it. They can get through it. And then um, when I went to a dog sitting gig that I had, I actually lost my needle there. So that's not Cool at all. Anyway, now I have this and I'm so excited. It was only $2.50. But that was my haul and that was my third time filming it. So if you see this one, it made the cut. It is the end of the night and I'm just ending the vlog. I just ran some errands. I went to CVS to pick up a print that I printed out and I made it myself. And I ordered it a week ago. It said it was ready for pickup, but apparently they couldn't find it. So I'm going to try again tomorrow. And I wanted to share some good news with you guys. Um, after our lease is up here, we are going to be living in our dream town called Cave Creek. It's really southwestern vibes and really cowboy-esque it's really close to the town, hiking, food, shopping. So I'm really excited for that. We're appreciative of our place now, but I'm just so excited for the town of Cave Creek. It's seriously like my dream town. So yeah, I'm excited for you guys to follow us with our journey of moving out. So we have six months, June, my birthday month, Emmett's birthday month. So that's gonna be a really exciting time. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.